Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minis, is very concerned about the increase in COVID-19 cases in New Providence and in Abaco in recent weeks. He referenced the impact in his national address this afternoon that focused on government's continued plans to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Altavis Munnings reports. With over 4,400 confirmed COVID-19 cases in the Bahamas, Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis indicated in his 38-minute national address Sunday that while health officials are encouraged by progress being made to limit COVID-19 cases in Grand Bahama and the majority of the family islands, measures in place are not achieving the desired results in New Providence and Abaco. As of Saturday, 3,270 cases were recorded in New Providence and 145 cases in Abaco. He reiterated that one in every 100 New Providence resident is COVID-19 infected. The country is averaging one COVID-19 death per day and medical facilities have reached capacity. Keep in mind that the Prime Minister also hinted that if cases rise exponentially and virus spread is out of control, governments often have no choice but to order a lockdown to save lives. He confirmed that he met with government health consultant Dr. Marceline Del Regis and Pan American and World Health Organization Bahamas representative Dr. Esther de Gorville on Saturday to discuss the current COVID-19 numbers in the Bahamas and possible strategies for the way forward. The Prime Minister confirmed that over the next two business days, Dr. de Gorville will meet with executives of the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Confederation, the National COVID-19 Coordination Committee, and other key stakeholders to discuss specific strategies. He announced Dr. de Gorville will then meet with Cabinet on Tuesday with an invitation extended to the opposition to also attend that special meeting. The Prime Minister said after the meetings, he will then brief the nation on the recommendations made by health experts on the future of the pandemic in the Bahamas, particularly in New Providence and Abaco. And just as a note, the Prime Minister will address the House of Assembly this Wednesday, October 7th. I once again ask employers and employees to rigorously follow and to adhere to the workplace guidelines agreed by health officials the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Federation and other entities. With the numbers remaining high in New Providence, it is important for us to recommit to following the COVID-19 guidelines fully. We must recommit on New Providence to full compliance with the rules because the current elevated numbers of cases is straining our hospital and healthcare systems. Regarding laboratory testing, the Prime Minister also announced that all labs providing COVID-19 tests will be required to register and meet the testing standard of the Ministry of Health. They're subject to periodic cross-referencing to ensure quality control, and laboratories will be prohibited from administering the COVID-19 RT-PCR test unless the patient provides all identifying particulars required by the case identification form as well as those labs will now be required to turn around its tests within a maximum of 48 hours. Prime Minister Minnis also revealed in his national address that the Economic Recovery Committee presented its executive summary report to Cabinet last week Tuesday with 163 recommendations and a range of subject areas to spur economic activity as well as sustain the country's economic health. Ideas around the establishment of independently managed national fund that can better mobilize private and public se sector resources to fuel the rapid, inclusive and sustained development of all islands of our great Bahamas. A call for a targeted and focused increase in the contribution of agriculture and fisheries as a share of the country's economic output or GDP in order to move steadily toward greater food security. An increase in the resources available for Bohemian entrepreneurs and small businesses, including the establishment of a national digital marketplace and the creation of small business incubators. A full revamp of the country's investment regime so that investment projects and business expansion can happen more quickly and with less government bureaucracy. Then there's tourism. 
The national travel protocols announced by the Ministry of Tourism last week comprises the discontinuation of a mandatory quarantine period starting November 1st, as well as more passenger testing requirements. By introducing rapid antigen testing upon arrival, and then again, 96 hours into a traveler's stay, we can more closely monitor and respond to any cases of the virus and act swiftly to contain its spread. The Ministry of Tourism is also in discussion with a number of insurance companies so as to introduce for all of our traveling visitors a traveler's COVID-19 insurance so as those individuals may be cared for appropriately and dispatched out of the country if necessary. This means we can more confidently allow all visitors to move with less restriction through the destination. Prime Minister concluded his national address by reiterating health and safety protocols to all Bahamians and residents. Wear a mask, wash your hands, sanitize your surroundings, and practice social distancing at all times. I'm Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News.